So there are three things we can do with the old uh, straw and pine shavings. One, we can use it on our raised beds. I'm gonna drop some on my raised beds uh, in preparation for the spring. I can also throw it here on the ground and I have in the past, or I can also throw it on my composting bin. Today we're going to replace the deep litter system on the chicken coop with new pine shavings. It's about time. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Now it's snowing every day and the temperature is only about 25 today with a wind chill uh, makes it feel like what 17 degrees Fahrenheit it's not very cold normally at this time of year we are used to below zero temperature so this is kind of like the Bahamas right now but uh, yeah let's go do this it's only gonna take a few minutes oh and by the way Debbie is recording this today <laughs> They think I have a snack for them, but I don't. I will bring a snack later. I already gave them something this morning. And they already laid three eggs this morning. Oh. I don't expect anything else now. Nope. All right, Debbie, we're going to go up to the side here. Whoa, here he goes. All right, the reason why we are replacing the bedding um, as you know, I, I use the deep litter system, but there's way too much right now and I'm starting to smell a little bit of ammonia. So I could add more pine shavings to the top, but it's way too high. So what I want to do is I'm going to replace this with the new pine shavings. So there are three things we can do with the old uh, straw and pine shavings. One, we can use it on our raised beds. I'm going to drop some on my raised beds. Uh, in preparation for the spring. I can also throw it here on the ground and I have in the past or I can also throw it on my or my comp I don't have a bin I just have a, like a little space outside and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the ch chickens out the other door and I'm going to rake most of this stuff into my uh, little gorilla cart. Now, when you're cleaning out your coop, now that it's winter and I'm using the deep, the deep little system, you don't have to take everything out. You can leave one or two inches to kickstart the new pine shavings. Uh, all right. All right, chickens. Once they see this, they're going to want to go out the other door. <laughs> Let me see. This is Lila. She's very curious. I'll go ahead and put this here. The ground's a little bit too high. I'm standing on a few inches of pine shavings from the last time. That's good enough. All right, they're going to run out the other side. Yeah, look at that. It's very thick. So I'm going to have to use a shovel here in a second.
this is great for my compost bin it's gonna be good for my flowers and vegetable garden this summer actually I'm gonna start planting everything outside in May late May after our last frost now here normally last frost is supposed to be May 15th but last year we had a last frost May 21st so I have to look at the weather constantly and make sure that I don't plant too early outside because if not my uh, seedlings will will die but check this out Debbie look it's very thick yeah so it's a uh, I have three things in here um i have sawdust straw and pine shavings all mixed in but it's a little bit too hard more how harder. often do you have to do this uh normally uh, every two or three months okay but yeah every uh every two or three months so what i've been doing every couple of weeks i add a couple of inches of pine shavings on top of what's already there so I'm going to replace everything with the new pine shavings and I'll come back every two weeks. I'll add some more and I won't have to replace it until maybe, I'm thinking maybe late April. Late April I'll come around and I'll clean it up really, really good and start the process again. Now the reason I do the deep litter method is because it keeps the, the floor a little bit warmer and obviously it's a little bit better for the chickens especially when the temperatures fall to you know when it's very cold in the winter this helps them out a lot and where'd all the chickens go where are they they're on the other side oh now debbie is helping out a little bit with uh yeah removing the deep litter is it very hard debbie um not too bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah back here it is yeah I know later you're gonna go out with uh, the grandchildren uh, to play. Good exercise. Yeah, but you're gonna get a workout way before you get there. Now, is the smell too strong? No. No. I'm in farm country. Yeah. <laughs> out here. Yeah. You gotta get all this out? Most of it, not all of it. You want me to go back, back here? Yeah, you can go as far as you want. So guys, I have about seven to nine inches of deep litter right here. Yeah, it was pretty high. So after today, it's definitely gonna be much, much lower. How was it, Debbie? <sighs> Great, good exercise. Yeah. Actually, I didn't mind. I yeah. think I had some in my mouth. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Debbie is my grandchildren's great aunt. And she's up here from Pennsylvania visiting for a few days. So hi. What, yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the back of the house to my compost pile. All right, Debbie, let's go. Oh. Maybe I'll bring them a snack later. <laughs> Sorry, chickens, I scared you. But you lived up to your name. So the first thing we're gonna do. We're just gonna spread this manure and right here into this bed, maybe into that bed. And the next load that I bring, I'm gonna dump into my compost pile, which is right behind you, Debbie. So. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of snow here. There's about five or six inches of snow, but this is gonna melt eventually. Here, let me show you. Yeah, see that? Oh, this, this is great soil. It's as hard as a rock though. Check it out. Wow. Oh, it's a solid rock. But this eventually will melt. Maybe, maybe not this month, or maybe not for the first two or three weeks of next month, but it will.
And this is going to be great nutrients for my plant. This is the best kind of food I can possibly give my plants. Wow. And yes, this will have plenty of time to decompose by the time I plant my seedlings here. Yeah, I'll be spreading it on all my beds. All right guys, so this is, I know you can't tell, but this is my compost pile. You notice all the brush. Uh, and these were tomato plants, pepper plants from last year. Yeah, it's a, let me see, can you tell? It's a little mound. So we're gonna dump the rest of this right here on top of this. And all I do is I back this up to the pile okay. and dump it. See how easy that was? It's very easy. Alright, let's go get some more. Alright, so this is Debbie's workout for today. How often do you I go to the gym, Debbie? I can skip the gym. Well, maybe three <laughs> times a week. Oh, okay. I just do the elliptical. Alright, Debbie. So you're going to back it up and just dump it anywhere here next to that pile One, two, three. yeah how do I, oh, just okay. lift that yellow lever there we go beautiful huh nice wagon yeah i i love that wagon any homesteader if you are a homesteader i definitely recommend that gorilla cart <laughs> you can just yeah that's it <laughs> Maybe I'm more like. So Debbie had to go. She is going to be doing axe throwing with the grandchildren. And yeah, she was a lot of help uh, moving some of this deep litter out of here. But I noticed that some of the deep litter in the back is kind of hard. So I'm going to break it up with the axe. That's the only way I can figure out how to do it. But it's going to work out just fine. Watch. However, I'm going to have to evict the chickens again. Because every time I walk away, they want to come inside. All right, chickadees. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm just gonna break it up a little bit to make it easy to remove with a shovel. <laughs> like this. Seems to be stuck in some areas. <laughs> you know, five years ago, Five years ago, I never dreamed that I would be cleaning chicken poop, but here we are. <laughs> oh yeah, the axe did a good job. There they are, outside, waiting for me to get done. Now guys, this batch, I'm gonna just dump on the ground here. And then I'm going to spread it around this area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this all over the ground here. And the chickens will scratch through all of this. And now, I'm going to put in the new pine shavings. A 
for main throw, about a half a bag, and then test it out. May have to throw more, who knows. There we go guys, look how nice it looks now. About a half a bag. And now I'm gonna go in and add some on the nest boxes. Yep, they wanna come in, see that? That's Lila by the way. All right girls, you have a new floor. Enjoy. It's not hardwood floors, it's a pine floor. But you're gonna like it. Yep, they like it. There we go guys, yep. They are hens. They love their new floor. All hens love new floors. It's like telling my wife, who wants new floors? <laughs> and many thanks to Debbie for helping out with, uh, you know, cleaning out the coop. And, you know, she's been helping out because I have a problem with this shoulder. I have a torn rotator cuff and I have an M MRI coming this Friday, Friday afternoon. I may have to get some surgery done or at least at the very least get some steroids so we'll find out by next week and this problem I've had it many for many many years even before I moved to upstate New York even before I knew what wood splitting was and yeah lately it's been getting worse uh, years ago I felt it for a week or two or or even up to a month but lately, well, all last year, in the last 12 months, it's been bothering me a lot, especially since October. It reminds me every second that I have a problem there. Hopefully it'll be taken care of soon. Will I be able to split wood and do most of the things that I'm doing now? Maybe not, not for a little bit, but I've got plenty of help and uh, we'll get it done. We'll, or we'll figure out a way to uh, do my chores around the house. Maybe I can ask Aaron for a mechanical arm, you know, a steel arm that can help me move those uh, logs up and down and split them. You never know. Aaron can come up with a lot of stuff. He's an inventor. Yep. He should have been an engineer. Well, he is in a way. All right, guys. So with that, you have a good morning, afternoon, or night, according to Lila, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Bye. It doesn't work. Not with the gloves on. All right, Lila. <laughs> All right. All right, see you later. Bye. But wait, I can't leave without checking on the silkies. How are you doing, mister? You guys doing okay? Did you lay me any eggs, number one? Let's go check and see. No, nope, not yet. Normally she lays it around there. But she did lay one yesterday. Maybe later today. Do you guys want new floors? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get some straw. I'm out, but it's straw's very cheap around here. Like $11 a bale. I'll bring it over later, maybe tomorrow. <laughs>